Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you and I'm back with some more Mushkin products. Um, today, just here you can see it, I'll bring you in for a closer look in a minute, but it's a 40 gigabyte Sandforce based uh, solid state drive. Um, now there's going to be a lot of kind of explanations and stuff in this video because it's alright just to say oh it does this and it does that, do you know what I mean? The read speed is and the write speed is that. But I find that, the, especially the Sandforce drives, I find them quite interesting at the moment, but quite confusing at the same time. So perhaps this will just be me of uh, using the Mushkin drives to kind of have a bit of a chat with you guys and tell you my thoughts on what's going on. But anyway, 40 gigabyte, uh, why would we use 40 gigabyte drive? Uh, 40 gigabyte is absolutely perfect for a, a Windows 7 install. Um, they originally, when they brought out the smaller drives, they were making them around the 30 gigabyte size. Um, but the problem with that was uh, a Windows install generally is about 20 gig, so you weren't left with a lot of room there. And do you know what I mean? By the time you've got Windows Office, such as Prime, take this on your laptop. By the time you've got Office on there um, and a couple of programs, you know what I mean, you were pretty much at the limit. So I mean, that's before you actually had any images or anything like that on your um, drive. So that was why they increased the uh, the smaller drives by that 10 gigabytes, so it was much better for an install drive. Now, obviously, there's going to be a lot of you enthusiasts that are thinking, "Oh, 40 gigabytes not going to be big enough for all my games." And do you know what I mean? You've got a fair point. It's not. So you would have to install your games and stuff like that on uh, a storage drive. But not being funny, yes, you, with a game you do get a. It, if it was on a solid state drive, you would get it to open faster, but it's not going to affect your frames per second or anything like that. It's actually um, going to make the game any more playable. So by having it on your storage drive, it's literally just, you know what I mean, the actual loading time, which I know is going to be important to a lot of people, but at the end of the day, if you're looking at a 40 gigabyte drive, it's going to be because of your budget. Um, now, uh, Talking about budgets, this is one of my main reasons for making this video because uh, I caught a little whisper and uh, Aria, uh, they're pretty much the only people in the UK carrying the Mushkin uh, stock at the moment. And the 40 gigabyte drive is now going to be available for 59.99, so a 60 pound solid state drive. 40 gigabyte, do you know what I mean? That's an absolutely balmy price and makes it, do you know what I mean, it's it's an absolute corker. Um, now, I need to say there's going to be, instantly there's going to be people out there going, oh, I'll get four and I'll raid them. Uh, if you raid solid state drives, then the trim commands can't get passed through to the drives. Uh, basically, the, uh, the storage controller on your board can't then distinguish do you know what I mean? The different drives once they're in that raid, because instead of it seeing uh, four individual drives, it gets set up so it sees one, and it can't distinguish between. Them. Basically, the trim commands can't get passed through the raid, so your drives will eventually bog themselves down. So, if you're going to be looking at this, then you, it's got to be as a boot drive. It'd be an absolute perfect upgrade for a laptop, um, or like I said, or a cheap gaming system, maybe a LAN rig, something like that. That you can also have a uh, a storage drive on there as well, it would be perfect. Now this is where it starts to get quite confusing because I've, I actually find the Sandforce based drives very frustrating to review because back in the days when we had the, the older like ID Linux, however you want to pronounce it, based drives, you could literally get on HD tune, hit the read, let it do it, hit the write, let it do it, and do you know what I mean, you would get what you were you know, what it was being sold at. So for Arctic, like if it said 225 megabits a second, you would get about 20, 225 megabits a second. And for my understanding, because, do you know what I mean, at the end of the day, I'm not a complete, you know, Albert Einstein about everything, but the Sandforce controller deals with the data in a different way. And all of the benchmarks today, really, other than Atto, because Atto kind of gets it about right, but other than, you know what I mean, the way that the benchmarks now read it, they don't actually read what's correctly going on with a drive. And yes, you can use the same benchmark to compare lots of other drives, which is fair enough. And if one, do you know what I mean, 
is scoring higher, then you can compare them so you know which one's going to be performing better. But very few of the benchmarks out there nowadays actually tell you that your drives are running at the speeds that are um, stated. Like for argument's sake, with this drive, you're meant to be getting, I think it's 208. Oh, let's just have a look quick. Yeah, just have a look quick on the Mushkin website, see, I was totally prepared for this video. Uh, read speeds were up to 280 megabits a second, and write speeds were up to 270 megabits a second. <coughs> now, even with uh, all the latest drivers and stuff like that, I was seeing about 260 read uh, and 240, 250 write, which is, do you know what I mean? It's not to be snubbed at at all. But like I said to you, um, that was with Atto, but then uh, uh, HD tune was reading completely differently. It really does not like the Sandforce controller. And the reason why I want to say this is because, do you know what I mean? If for no other reason, it looks like Sandforce is going to be staying around for a while at the end of the day. Uh, they bring out new chips, faster chips. We need a new benchmark tool, uh, and it's, I think it's really up to either Sandforce or uh, one of the big uh, brands like Mushkin or any of the other solid state drive manufacturers to bring us a decent uh, benchmark tool so that not only can the reviewers show you what do you know what I mean you all want to know, but also to make it simpler so that rather than having, because at the moment pretty much every benchmark tool tells you something different. One says it does this megabyte a second, the other one says it does this megabyte a second, and for me, I find it very confusing, and I think they should all be saying the same thing, it should be simplified, it's just, it's something, it's not an area that I really like to cover that much, because it's so, there's no, do you know what I mean, with overclocking, you, you get to 4 gigahertz, you open the CPU Z, it says 4 gigahertz, but if you add seven different versions of CPU Z, they're like made by different people, and one said 4 gigahertz, one said 4.5 gigahertz, one said 3 0.7 gigahertz, you wouldn't know where the bloody hell you were going, would you? I mean, you know your computer would be quicker, but you wouldn't know exactly what it's doing, and that's kind of the way I feel with the solid state drives at the moment. But, I'm going to put the link in the side, as I said, 59.99 at Aria for a 40 gigabyte solid state drive, do you know what I mean? I'm hoping this is really going to be the, the turning point for these drives, and the fact that prices are now starting to come down. Um, and at the end of the day, if you're all worried about, oh, does it do this, does it do that, you know, is it quick, is it not quick? Of course it's quick. It's a solid state drive. I can honestly say, hand on my heart, it doesn't matter. Even if you've got a 980X rig and, do you know what I mean, you've spent five grand on the parts of your computer, if you're using a mechanical drive, then putting a solid state drive in your rig will be probably the best upgrade you have ever done. Um, I now... It, I've, in my main rig, I've got a substrate drive. In my bench rig, I, I use mechanical drives. Um, and going between the two is actually frustrating for me, waiting for stuff to open, because my main rig is like that. It's absolutely brilliant, do you know what I mean? I literally can dart across my screen and open all the stuff that I want to open, like for argument's sake, and I'm looking at the screen now, so for argument's sake, I can go Outlook, MSN, um, Internet Explorer and Fireworks. So that's a normal day for me when I'm working online, doing the website, doing the reviews and stuff like that. And literally, by the time I've got to the last icon and clicked it and looked at the next, you know, my, the, my other screens, everything's already open. It's that quick. It's just bang, 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 bang. It's brilliant. Um, so, yes, if you haven't had, got a solid state drive yet and you're looking for a cheap way to think, is it actually going to be any good? then this is going to be an absolute corker for you. So, this, the, the Mushkin one's actually grey, and I've dropped it. Here we are, lads. As you can see, the, uh, the Mushkin drive is grey. It's quite nice, do you know what I mean? You've got the label on the back bit, but the top is actually fairly plain. You've got that lovely edge around it. It is Ali as well. I think, do you know what I mean, it's a nice subtle, you could even have that as a feature in your rig or, do you know what I mean, if you want to you can hide it. I think that's a really nice looking drive, because it's just simple. So, there you go, you had a look at it, at the end of the day it's a solid state drive, it's a two and a half inch little drive, it's not really anything to look at. And as I've kind of tried to explain to you, all the benchmarks say different things, so it's 
it's really hard for me to try and be able to say, um, do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, it does this and it does that, it does this, because they all say different things, so you don't know. But with Atto, like I said, 260 ish read, and I was getting between 240 and 250 right, um, which is, um, do you know what I mean? It's, it's not something to be sniffed at. And if you're buying this for an upgrade from a mechanical drive, I honest to God, it will be the best thing that you've ever done. Because they are absolutely brilliant. And at this price, it's worth, do you know what I mean? Just playing with it and having a trial with it. Um, it will make a massive difference to your rig. So, I'm going to stop going round and round in circles because my window's open at the moment and I'm sure the people outside think I'm going completely nuts talking to myself all the time. Um, but yeah. Uh, this with the 40 gigabyte uh, Callisto drive from Mushkin, massive, massive thumbs up. Um, and that's, do you know what I mean? Solid state drives in, in general are, are, are amazing, but at this price, to me, we need a no brainer award because this is a complete no brainer. Um, so, yeah, Tiny Tom Logan out.